today's objective is to simplify variable expressions. Okay, before we get into some actual problems, we need to talk about some vocabulary. So the first thing we need to talk about is what a term is. A term is a number or the product of a number and variable. So basically a term is just a piece of the problem. So for example, 10 is a term. 7x is a term. X squared is a term. It's a piece of the problem. So each piece is called a term. A constant is a term that has no variables. So for example, negative 12. That's a constant. 3 is a constant. 6 is a constant. Anything that has no variable is a constant. Okay, so next we're going to talk about like terms. Like terms have identical variables. identical variable parts. So for example, 3z and 16z are like terms. 5x squared y and 9x squared y are like terms. So those are considered like terms because they both have x squared y, x squared y. And last vocabulary is coefficient. Coefficient is a number that multiplies a variable. So for example, in the term 14y, 14 is the coefficient. Okay, so let's talk about some problems. So problem number one. 3x squared plus 6y plus 7y minus 3x squared. Okay, so what we're looking for are like terms. So I see this 3x squared and I see this negative 3x squared. Those are like terms because they both have the x squared. So then you just put your coefficients together. What's 3 and negative 3 make? Well, 3 and negative 3 are opposites, so they cancel each other out. There's no x squareds left. Then we put our y's that are left together. 6y and 7y are like terms, so 6y plus 7y is 13y. And there's our answer. So let's look at another one. Number 2, 4a squared minus 3b squared plus 4b plus 10a squared. So I usually start at the beginning, so I'm going to look at this 4a squared. Do I have any like terms that go with it? Yeah, this is plus 10a squared. So I put my coefficients together, 4 plus 10 makes 14a squared. Now I cross them off just so that I know I use them, so I don't try to mess with it again. Now when I look at the things that are left, negative 3b squared and 4b, are they like terms? So think about that question. Negative 3b squared and 4b. 
they are not like terms because this one has the squared and this one doesn't. So because this one's squared and this one isn't, that means they're not like terms. So I just attach them to the end, minus 3b squared plus 4b. And that's my answer. Okay, so number three. 3x plus 2y minus 2x plus 5y. So I start with my x's, 3x minus 2x. So coefficients 3 minus 2 makes 1x. If you don't want to put the 1, you can just put an x. It doesn't matter to me which way you write it. So those are gone. I use them. Then I put my y's, 2y and 5y. Are they like terms? Yep. So 2y plus 5y makes 7y. So you can either write it as 1x plus 7y or just x plus 7y. Okay, number four. Number four is negative 3x plus 5x minus 2y plus 5x. So we're going to simplify it and then we're going to evaluate, so I'm adding another step to it, I'm going to evaluate when x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. So this is going to be a two-parter. You have to simplify it like we did on number 1, 2, and 3, get that answer, and then we're going to do a second step. We're going to evaluate it. So when I do the simplify part, negative 3x plus 5x plus 5x, those are like terms. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7x. Then I just attach this minus 2y to the end. So that's the answer to the simplify part. Now for the evaluate, just where x is I put 2, where y is I put negative 3. So 7 times 2 minus 2 times negative 3. So 7 times 2 is 14. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. 14 plus 6 is... 20. Okay. Next thing we need to talk about is distributive property. Distributive property says that if you take A and multiply it by B plus C, that that comes out to be AB plus AC. Now, remember that distributive is just like distribute, which means give out. In this case, it means to multiply. You take A times B, A times C. So let's look at some problems. We've got 3 times X minus 4. So 3 times the quantity x minus 4, we distribute the 3, 3 times x is 3x, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 or minus 12. So 5 times the quantity x plus 6, when you distribute 5 times x, 5x, 5 times 6 plus 30. So let's look at a third one. This time it's a plus 4 times 7. So it's backwards. We still distribute a times 7, 4 times 7, and there's your answer. Now what we're going to do with that is some more complicated problems. So let's look at those. So number one, negative two, x plus four y plus five x. That should be an x. So there's our problem. Now we're going to simplify it by distributing first. So I'm going to distribute the negative two. So negative two times x is negative two x. Negative two times four y is negative eight y. And then I put the plus 5x at the end. 
Then I put my like terms together like I did before. So negative 2x plus 5x is 3x. And then attach the minus 8y to it. And there's your answer. Okay, so let's look at number 2. Number 2 is 5 times negative m plus 2 minus m plus 6. Okay. So I have two sets of parentheses. So I'm going to start with this first one, the 5. So I distribute the 5 to the negative m and to the 2. When I hit that second set of parentheses, that end there, I stop distributing. It stops when that parenthesis stops. So 5 times negative m is negative 5m. 5 times 2 is 10. Now I have a set over here, which means I have to distribute, but there's no number there. When there's no number in front of the parentheses, put a 1. So that's what we're distributing. We're distributing a negative 1. Negative 1 times m is negative 1m. And either put the 1 or don't put the 1. It doesn't matter to me. Then negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. Then we do our like terms like we did on the last problem. Negative 5m and negative 1m. Negative 5 and negative 1 makes negative 6m. 10 and negative 6 makes positive 4. So negative 6m plus 4. We're going to do one last problem. And this one is going to be a simplify and an evaluate. So there's going to be two parts to it. So two things you have to do, simplify and evaluate. So let's start with the simplify first. Distribute the 10, so you get negative 60 plus 10x. Now over here, remember what I said, there's no number there, so put a 1. So negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Then when you do your like terms, 10x minus 1x is 9x. Negative 60 plus 7 is negative 53. So that's the first half of our answer. Now, remember I said there was going to be a second part. The second part is to evaluate when x equals negative 5. So I take negative 5, put it where x is. So 9 times negative 5 minus 53. 9 times negative 5 is negative 45 minus 53. They're both negative, so we add that together and we keep it negative, so negative 98. So two answers on that one. Okay, the simplify and the evaluate. You have to simplify first and then plug it in. Okay.